In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can remote console Ubuntu server using RDP. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in my previous video, I showed you guys how you can remote console using the VNC connector. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can simply RDP your Ubuntu server desktop. So let's jump to the computer screen. So first of all, I'm just going to change the user. Um, okay, so I am logged in as root. First of all, I'm going to see the IP address. Uh, the IP address is 10.0.0.1.1.5. Okay, let me try it one time this. You can see uh, nothing is happening. I'm not able to connect using the RDP. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to install RDP on this Ubuntu desktop server. Step number one, you're going to update the index first. So I'm going to type the command apt update. Okay, the update has been complete. Step number two, I'm going to install the RDP package for Ubuntu server. For that, the command is apt install xrdp. And then we are going to use XFCE environment, XFCE4, and then space XFCE4 dash goodies, and then uh, Y. So after that, we are going to change the XRDP configuration. Uh, we're going to uh, set to use the XFCE session environment. So this thing I, I think gonna take few minutes so I'm gonna pause the video recording and I will come back. All right, I'm back. This is installed with no errors. Okay, step number three. Now we are going to configure XRDP. Type this command echo xfce4 dash session space less than or greater sign. I don't know what that is and then slash dot x session this is not x uh, like twitter x <laughs> or not your ex-girlfriend so x session hit enter and then the next command the step number four we are going to set the correct display manager for xrdp so you're going to open this file called start wm.sh and it's under etc xrdp start wm.sh and then uh, make sure you hashtag these two lines test dash x at c x11 x session and then type here start x f x f c e four control x save hit enter step number five now we are going to enable xrdp for that the command is system ctl enable xrdp and make sure you don't see any error and then the next command is going to be system ctl start xrdp and then uh we are going to create a user especially if you're going to assign remote access to any remote person or any remote employee so i'm going to add a user um add user so i'm gonna say name remote one and then the password for this make sure the password is strong and then the full name whatever you want to give and the room number work phone whatever information you want to give and then in the last it's going to ask you is the information correct you type y and hit enter before we move further i want to request you guys to please like the video and make sure you hit the subscribe button okay so the now user is created and then we are going to assign uh, the sudo um, permissions to this user for that we are going to type this command user mode hyphen a and capital G sudo and then remote one 
okay so the now user is created and also we have assigned the permissions to the remote one user okay in the next step we are going to allow the port in firewall for that the command is ufw allow 3389-tcp and one thing uh, i always forget to mention if you are working as a user you need to type sudo in every single command like sudo this sudo that but i'm working as root so that's why i'm not typing sudo okay hit enter and you should see this prompt rules update okay and the last step i'm going to try again using the same ip address so in the start of session i tried and it failed let's try again and you can see i'm able to uh remote into this ip address let me just correct the size of screen so you guys can see it was on the other screen okay so you're gonna see this kind of environment log into local host xrdp just connecting xorg and then type here the user you created and the password here hit enter and then it should show you the desktop environment of your ubuntu server okay so you can see uh, it's loaded and uh, let me just full screen this i hope you guys can see this uh, let me check my uh screen recorder okay yeah i can see uh it's recording this screen so you can see file browser fail to execute default web browser i don't know what's that error but the main purpose of this video was to show you how you can uh remote using rdp session into your ubuntu linux server and the last step if you want to consider this it's optional but in case if you want to change the port uh, 3389 you can do that as well so uh, for that you're going to open this file xrdp.ini and that is under uh, etc xrdp so nano etc xrdp and then xrdp.ini and then here you can change the port so let's say you want to change it to 3395 oops sorry my keyboard 3395 save hit enter and then you're going to restart xrdp as i restarted so you can see the session was disconnected let me try that again and you can see i'm not able to connect so there are two reasons first i did not allow that port so i have to allow that port first and then i have to type that port 3395 and then i would be able to log into this machine you can see i can uh, see the first login page so that means you're connected all you need is the credentials all right guys that's it for today thank you so much for watching the video if you like the video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe the channel i'll see you in the next video bye bye